All right, against the odds time, playing some warp statuary in modern, and uh, we got our combo pieces, but we got a mulligan this. Jeez, now we have no combo pieces. All right, we'll try it. Uh, to the bottom with our puzzle knot. It doesn't really do us any good without our statuary. So windswept teeth, goo. Scalding darn, opponent cracks it. Steam vents, untapped. Serum visions for our opponent. And passes. Well, crack this. Get a... Now nah, we'll just get sacred foundry. Play a cinder glade. Pass the turn. Opponent, another serum visions. Spire bluff, and passes. Uh, we are kind of drawing the wrong half, the wrong half of our deck on this one. <laughs> Pass the turn. Island for our opponent. And Brawl. Uh, this is probably a Storm deck, and we are probably going, oh god. Deck, 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 deck. Really? <laughs> Those are our draws? <sighs> There's a Mountain for our opponent. And gets in with Brawl. And here comes the combo. Manamorphos. Ritual, ritual. Once we see the past in flames, uh, then we'll scoop. Or gifts ungiven. I think this is the build we played. Yeah, there's gifts. Well, we'll see what they get, but we're very dead. I believe this is the build we played for Much Approved this past week. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Rituals, blah, blah, blah. Well, we get four rest in peace, four ley lines of sanctity. And try it like that. All right, we get to play first. Oh, man. We're getting some really bad hands. Well, I mean, this hand is pretty good-ish. Not sure that that's necessarily good enough against our opponent's deck. But Sacred Foundry, go. Scalding Tarn for opponent, cracks it. Seam Vents, untapped. And uh, Serum Visions. Well, Wooded Foothills, crack Wooded Foothills. Get a Mountain... Play Servo Schematic, and pass the turn. The Cinder Glade's not ideal. Chivalry for our opponent. Do they have something to reduce the cost of their spells? Looks like Brawl. Well, Cogworkers, Puzzle Knot. Cinder Glade, pass the turn. Oh, Cinder Glade. Making our life miserable. Spire Bluff for our opponent. Sleight of Hand. Ritual. Wow, are they just going for it on turn three? If you get the, the Nut Draw... Uh, I don't think our opponent wins this turn. Unfortunately, we can't do much about it, because, uh... Ugin? Can't come down till next turn. Alright, you get the Rituals. If they just have the second Past in Flames in hand, then they win right here. Otherwise, they don't win this turn. More Rituals. Interesting. We're gonna scoop it up. Alright, against the odds time, playing some Warped Statuary in Modern, and I think we got a mulligan. Oh, God. Well, well, we'll try this. Not good, not good. Tracker to the bottom. Sacred Foundry tapped past the turn. I guess we could draw Land Statuary? Oh, no. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Good game. Good game. That was a quick one. There goes Tireless Tracker. Another Warped World A deck. Well, crack this. Get a Forest. Play Servo Schematic. And pass the turn. Swamp for our opponent. Are they just 8 rack? I don't think we can beat 8 rack. Ugin, not helpful. Get in with our servo. Only 17 more turns of this, and uh, we servo our way to victory. Swamp for our opponent. And passes. Well, there's a statuary. Man, I wish we could get that down. Because this mono black deck should not have a way to interact with it. They are going to heroes downfall our servo token. Swamp for our opponent. And passes. Land? No land. Well, play Cogworkers, Puzzle Knot. Oh, we need this land. Come on. Uh, Heroes Downfall, our Servo Token. Oh, land before they draw Discard. Opponent passes. Land? Hey, it's a land. Windswept Teeth. Crack Windswept Teeth to get a Stomping Ground untapped. And play Inspiring Statuary. Now we're actually in the game. As odd as that sounds, our opponent hasn't threatened us too much. He's journey or Skype for our opponent. And passes. There's a Windswept Teeth. Well, pass the turn. Well, we're a land away from Warped World. Opponent's going to journey or Skype up a Swamp. And Gifted Aetherborn. Now, let's play another Statuary. 
pass the turn. Well, hopefully we just draw like another puzzle knot or something, and then we can play that and then warp world. Ghost quarter for our opponent. Increasing ambition. Searching up something. It's a thought seize. Well, luckily we have two warp worlds. <laughs> they take the Ugin. Well, warp world, here we come. Hopefully it works out. We need red mana, so let's crack this. Get a Cinder Glade. Another Cinder Glade. Play Cinder Glade. Warp World. Let's see what happens. Spin the wheel. Ugh. That was very bad. I think we lose now. Somehow we managed to hit four lands, two paths. Oh man. Deck, deck, deck. No tireless trackers, no statuaries, no anything. And our opponent gets to blow up our lands, and they have a Void Winnower. Well, way to go, deck. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my goodness. My goodness. That is as bad as it gets. Oh. I don't even know what to say anymore. <laughs> cursed, cursed, we're cursed. Sun Droplet, sure. Yeah, why not? We don't have anything we can draw. I guess we can draw a Path to Exile. But we just put several of those on the bottom because we revealed them to our warped world. So it seems unlikely. Sun Droplet gonna trigger. Statuary. And that does it. Whoo, deck. Oh my god, deck. Deck, deck, deck. <laughs> Well, we can bring in the Ley Lines to fight the discard. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I don't even know. Go down a path of Thraben Inspector and a Great Aurora. Try it like that. All this hand is the nuts if our opponent doesn't have discard. Well, Windswept Teeth. Crack Windswept Teeth. Get a Sacred Foundry. Untapped. And Thraben Inspector. And pass the turn. Once we get our stuff on the battlefield, it should be safe. Swamp. Come on, no tapping. Don't tap it. You don't have it. It's a thought seize, of course. Takes our statuary, also, of course. Well, there's three more in our deck that we could draw into eventually. Get in with Raven Inspector. Mount in, and Cogworkers Puzzle Knot. Pass the turn. Bajookabog. Opponent has all the discards. We draw another Ugin. Well, get in with our Inspector and such. Play Stomping Ground tapped. Pass the turn. Ghost Quarter, not good against us. Sun Droplet, I guess keeps us from winning by beating down. Let's crack our clue, get a fetch land. Well, go attacking, play a Foothills, pass the turn. Another Ghost Quarter, and passes. Now this would have been helpful earlier. Windswept Teeth, crack Windswept Teeth. Get a Plains, and we are just going to cast this Ley Line. Would have been so much nicer before we lost our inspiring statuary no reason to attack we deal to our opponent gains back to doesn't really do anything yahani's expertise for our opponent to play a journeyer's kite canopy vista and pass the turn activates journeyer's kite well we're kind of two lands away from just casting ugin the old-fashioned way although our opponent has a million heroes downfalls forest go urborg and herald of anguish Eh, we need to path to exile that. Come on, land! Land for Ugin. That is not a land. Pass the turn. Solemn Simulacrum. Gets our opponent another land. And Journeyer's Sky. Opponent passes. We draw a path to exile. Well, pass the turn. Are we really going to lose to this deck? Another Journeyer's Sky activation. Gets in with Solemn. Palace Siege. Chooses Cons. Well, we get a Wooded Foothill, so we get to play an Ugin. Actually, do we play an Ugin? I think we pass one more turn. Because if we play the Ugin, we got a negative to get rid of Palace Siege. Actually, I guess it's fine. So play Ugin. Hope they don't have Heroes Downfall. Shoot our opponent. Opponent gains some counters. Pass the turn. Palace Siege does nothing. Sun Droplet gains our opponent a life. Come on, no Heroes Downfall. Journeyer's Kite is not Heroes Downfall. Gifted Aetherborn, also not Hero's Downfall. Hero's Downfall is Hero's Downfall, though. Opponent's out of cards, but we need action. Do we Warp World now, or do we wait one more turn? 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I think we got to do it. I don't know what else we can do. It's not exciting, but we got to hope we get lucky this time. Warp World? Really, deck? Really? You got to be kidding. <laughs> Our opponent gets a board full of creatures. That was far from ideal. Oh, good lord. <laughs> um, and that's the game. Jeez. Uh, okay, deck. All right, against the odds time, playing some inspiring Great Aurora. <laughs> Warp Statuary in Modern. And we'll keep this. No Statuary, but we actually have a somewhat reasonable curve. Some ways to get things on the battlefield. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, and statuary would be eight. So if we draw a statuary, oh my goodness. Oh, that's what I get for talking so much. <laughs> no, my God, no. Okay, it's a godless shrine. Oh, punished. Maximum punished. If this is another control deck, that was, oh man. Definitely should have led on this planes and played Thraben Inspector and curved out. I was too busy counting and inspiring statuary numbers that don't matter anyway because we got Inquisitioned. Takes our tireless tracker. Probably the right choice. Well, let's just planes and puzzle knot. Oh, we have another puzzle knot too? We're so close. Come on, statuary. And come on, please don't actually be. Oh boy. So much discard. There goes the Great Aurora. Well, we can find another one of those sooner or later. There's a Warp World. We don't have the mana for it, but... Play Canopy Vista. Play Cogworkers Puzzle Knot. Get a Servo. Play Thraben Inspector. Get a Clue. Get in for one. Not sure what we're up against. Abzan. The White Black 8-Rack deck. Something along those lines. Uh, another Godless Shrine. We do need red mana if we're going to Warp World. Oh, timely reinforcements. Oh, my lord. Well, let's crack our clue. And I guess we just pass. Still no inspiring statuary. Marsh Flats for our opponent. Cracks it. Hopefully this isn't Gideon or something. That would be pretty bad for us. Soren. Okay. Makes a vampire. So this is like white black tokens. Well, statuary Ugin would be insane. Now let's play a tireless tracker for no value. And pass the turn. Wish we had drawn a land. Oh boy. Intangible Virtue makes all the tokens into actual threats. Plays a land. Cracks the land. Well, we're going to need to draw this, uh... Alright. Well, that does it. We needed lands a bit quicker than that. What do we have to fight this deck? I guess we can bring in a sort of Wrath? I don't even know if Wrath is good. Maybe Leyline? over a warped world uh ley lines over a warped world and try it like that so we get to play first all right i mean this is not insane or anything but we get a ley line to not get destroyed by discard hopefully we can get down a tireless tracker and start making some clue tokens to draw more cards still would like oh there's karn Jeez, inspiring statuary would be so sweet that's what we want is an inspiring statuary that is the statuary. Well, let's get in with our servo. Windswept Teeth. Crack Windswept Teeth. So get a Stomping Ground untapped. Down to 17 and play the statuary. Hopefully it lives. We really, really would like that to stick around. And pass the turn. Now we're actually close to doing things. We're actually a land away from playing Karn this turn. Um, Let's play Tireless Tracker. And get in with our servo. And this <laughs> Great Aurora was not the draw we wanted here. Secure the ways, X2. Come on, land! Land for all the good things to happen! Oh, we need a land so badly. Just a land! We have so many in our deck! There's a fatal push. And virtue. Well, land is still great if we could draw it. Oh, no! <laughs> Oh, it's not even an artifact to set it up for next time. Oh my goodness. There's a Sorin. Makes a vampire. Oh, deck. You are... Oh, 
There's land. Crack wooded foothills. Get a mountain. Play Karn. Karn the vampire token. Hooray. Well, this puts us in a position where if our opponent... Where if we draw land, we still have a sort of shot. Pumps up Soren. Probably going to kill our Karn. Yeah, hits Karn, hits us. Well, we gotta draw land this turn. Have to, have to, have to. Wooded Foothills. All right, well, we get to fire it off and see what happens. Wooded Foothills. Crack Wooded Foothills. Get a forest. Warp World. I mean, we resolved it. Oh, it needed to be a couple turns ago, but... Raise the alarm. I'm going to get our opponent some more shuffle-ins. Well, let's see what happens. Who knows? Who knows? Wow. Our opponent did complete whiff. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, that was good. Opponent hit 100%. <laughs> oh, I mean, they got a few lads, but they did not hit a single thing they could play. Not a single one. Oh, man, it might still work. I thought it was too late. Get us some thopters. We get some clues, some clues, some clues. Even more clues. Oh, wow. We're back in this game, boys and girls. Warp World! <laughs> Off of our inspiring statuary. Our statuary is gone now. We didn't hit another statuary, unfortunately. Which means we can't just create Aurora this turn. Uh, okay. Lingering Souls for our opponent. And flashes it back. And plays a land. Well, let's sack our clue. Pumps up our tracker. We draw a... Canopy Vista. We do need red mana, so we gotta sack at least one of them. Get a mountain, sack again, get a forest, get a clue. Down to two. Precarious situation, crack a clue, another land. There's an Ugin that we can't cast yet. Probably should've got another red source. Play a land, get a clue. Attack with our tracker and our P and Karenalar. Opponent takes it, we pass the turn. Opponent goes attacking. Well, block, block, sack a clue, shoot down another spirit, drop to one. Oh, they're going to path. All right. I think this is okay, though. We get a mountain, get a clue. I think we still survive this. We're down to one. Crack a clue. Statuary still just gains us mana right away. Thraben Inspector, Cinderglade. Surgical Extraction on Warp World, but our opponent's out of cards, and we have a Karn and a Ugin and the mana to cast them. Whoo! All right, so play Cinderglade, get a clue, and this is the worst feeling thing of all time, but play a Karn, Karn the Spirit Token, play Thraben Inspector, get a clue, get in with the Tireless Tracker, and then next turn, we can Great Aurora, <laughs> oh, and our opponent scoops it up! Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo! We got there! We got there! I can't believe it! Oh my lord, I did not think that was possible. Oh, Warped World is apparently good against decks that don't play permanence. I do not know if we will ever win a match with this deck, but we've got some sweet game wins. I think we're going to mulligan this. It's kind of slow. No statuary. Uh, yeah, so let's mulligan. All right. I mean, no ley line, but if we don't get our statuary hit by discard, this hand is awesome. Ma, no thought seizes. Team No Thoughtseize. <laughs> Cinderglade, go. Ugh. There's Thoughtseize. And there goes our Inspiring Statuary. A bit disappointing. Well, Temple Garden, untapped. Servo Schematic, pass the turn. Shambling Vent for our opponent, and... Oh, <laughs> Intangible Virtue. They're gonna have scary tokens once they find them. Well, Stomping Grounds, untapped. Play Tireless Tracker, get in with our Servo. And pass turn. There's a the fetch, which means our opponent can, like, fatal push our tracker and spectral procession. That's a blowout. Well, no fatal push. So, windswept teeth. Get a clue. I think we gotta attack with tireless tracker. Alright. We hit him down to 13. Crack windswept teeth. Get a... I guess we get a plane. Uh, so let's just pee in Karen Nalar. And pass the turn. Another land for our opponent. They're going to get to play their Windbrisk Heights card, though. There's a big attack. There's Windbrisk Heights. And it's a Sorin. Down to nine. Makes a vampire. 
And passes. Well, play Canopy Vista. Tapped. Attacks Soren. Gives up on Soren. Alright, pass the turn. I'm not sure how we steal a win here. Oh, if it wasn't for this virtue, we'd have many ways. So I think what we gotta do is block and block to kill one spirit. And then shoot down another spirit. Get a servo. Oh, drop all the way down to four. Opponent passes. I'll play Windswept Teeth. Get a clue. Get in with Tireless Tracker. Opponent takes it. I think what we gotta do is, not ideal, but we gotta do it. Get a forest. Gets us another clue. Play PNLR. Get a Thopter. And pass the turn. Secure the waste. One, two, three, four, five. Well, I think we technically maybe barely live. Oh, geez. Now we definitely technically do not live. For a million percent sure. Oh! So close! So close! <laughs> All right. Again. Against the odds time, playing some Warped Statuary in Modern. Opponent's also mulliganing, all the way to five, leaves on top. Well, I never want to root for mulligans, but in against the odds. No, no discard. Bloodstained Mire for our opponent. Well, Windswept Teeth, goo. See what our opponent's up to. Cracks the Bloodstained Mire. Stomping Grounds, untapped. And, oh, it's Dredge. Ay ay ay. Well, it's gonna be about getting this Ugin down. There's Golgari Thug, Dredge, Narc Amoeba coming back. Well, let's crack this. Oh boy. We will get, I think we need a Sacred Foundry tapped. All right, there's Narc Amoeba and Gemstone Mine. Forest and Servo Schematic. Come on, Inspiring Statuary! Oh man, if we get to Warp World. Opponent Dredges gets a Narc Amoeba. Gets in with the Narc Amoeba. Yep. Down to 18. Casts a Golgari Thug. Uh, another land. Well, play Servo Schematic. Get a Servo. Play Windswept Teeth. Pass the turn. Come on, Statuary! Or even we would take a... Oh, no. That land means double dredge. Oh, they have no dredger. Stinkweed and Amalgam discarded. When it gets in with everything, I think we just take it. Crack our Windswept Teeth. Down to 14. We need more red mana, so let's get a Cinder Glade? Well, Tireless Tracker's okay. Play Tireless Tracker, play Cinder Glade, get a clue. Get in with our servos. Pass the turn. We still need a statuary. Clues help, though. Opponent gets to dredge. Oh, boy. Bloodgast, double prized amalgam. So our opponent's gonna have quite the board. There's the looting. There's a conflagrate. Dredges, more blood gas. We're basically hoping our opponent somehow whiffs on a land here. Opponent does not whiff on a land. Well, here comes the dorks. Yep, blood gas, come back. Here comes prized amalgams, end of turn. Opponent attacks. Well, we're gonna block the thug this turn. Opponent gets in for two. Yep, down to 12. Here comes prized amalgams. We draw a land. Well, let's crack a clue. Ugh. Play a forest. Get a clue. Crack a clue. Another land. Ugh. All right, pass the turn. I think we're dead now. Unearth the Scourge Devils, and that does it. Oh, deck. Well, good news is we get three copies of Rest in Peace, which is pretty awesome. And I think we go down a couple Path to Exiles, go down a Great Aurora, and try it like that. All right, we're on the play, and there's a Rest in Peace. All right, that buys us, hopefully, a ton of time. So what did Foothills go? Mountain for our opponent, and Faithless Looting. Yep, discards a couple Dredgers. Well, we crack this. Let's get a Stomping Grounds. Tapped. Play the planes, play rest in peace. Put an end to those shenanigans for the time being. Make our opponent play fair magic. What did foothills for our opponent? Cracks it. Stomping grounds untapped. And cathartic reunion. Discards two narc amoebas. Well, mountain and inspiring statuary. Pass the turn. We're getting there. We got the warp world. We got the mana. We just need ways to make artifacts and we can statue-esque our way to victory. What if fails? Jeez, our opponent just keeps, just keeps filling the exile zone. <laughs> oh, thankfully that's not the graveyard. Whoa, more faithless lootings going directly to exile. Come on, artifact production. Well, play the forest, pass the turn. Oh, we're so close. Opponent cracks wooded foothills. Blood crypt tapped. Was it time to start casting random dredge creatures? Not yet. 
What if the hills pass the turn? Oh, <laughs> where's our artifact makers? We need a tireless tracker, uh, Thraven inspector, servo schematic. There's the st hard casting queen imp. Oh, deck. Canopy Vista, go. Well, I guess we can just do this the old fashioned way where we make eight land drops and cast a warped world. It's not really the plan, but do what you gotta do. Thankfully, this rest in peace is buying us an infinite amount of time. Blood Ghast, Hard Ghast. <laughs> oh, Dak! You gotta be kidding me! We got the setup! What? <laughs> oh, we got the setup, but it's still not working. <sighs> Alright, let's. Let's path the blood ghast. I don't even know if we want to go for it yet. Like, our advantage is not that insane from this warp world. It would be so much better if we just drew something first. Opponent passes. Another windswept teeth. The other problem is if we go for it now and we don't just win, our opponent could beat us on the backswing? Let's wait. Our opponent only has a stinkweed right now. Uh-oh. Nature's claim our rest in peace. Insolent neonate. Well, this means we're probably going to have to go for it whether we want to or not. Because worst case, we can hit another rest in peace, which would be good. Uh-oh. Opponent's going to start dredging. Not too threatening yet. All right, no free creatures. And go Gary Thug. Yep, yep, yep. Well, let's crack one of these. Get a sacred foundry. Tapped. Eh, crack another one. Get a temple garden. Tapped. And now we'll pass, because we could still draw a tireless tracker here. All right, servo schematic is fine. That's actually good. Do we want a Warp World or Great Aurora? I think probably just Warp World. So, Servo Schematic, Wooded Foothills, Crack Wooded Foothills, get a Mountain, Warp World, tapping our artifacts. All right, come on, Warp World, be good to us. We should float mana too, I think. Um, crack this, get a Forest, Green, Green, Green. Red, 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 and uh, let's float a white. White and red. Warp world. All right. We get a bunch of stuff. Not enough to great Aurora, though. Oh, maybe we can. One, two, three, four, five. We might actually be able to just immediately great Aurora, come to think of it. Because we have two green floating, three green, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, I think we do get to just great Aurora. Which is pretty good. That gives us another spin. That gives us a bunch of clues. All right, yeah, we, we actually tapped our mana exactly perfectly for this. So get a clue, get a clue, get a clue. Get a clue, get a clue. Get some P and Karen tokens. Cogworkers Puzzle Knot. Now our last card is Great Aurora. Tap all of our stuff. This one should be even more beneficial. Oh my god. We allowed our opponent to... <laughs> to dredge a million times! Are we gonna lose because of this? Oh no! Great Aurora, what is... Oh man. All lands, not that many. Not gonna pay life. Opponent gets back some stuff. I think we can fight through this. Oh, that was awkward. I did not consider the dredging possibilities of the Great Aurora. <laughs> well, play rest in peace. Get rid of the graveyard. Pass the turn. Discard Hellkite Igniter. All right. And our opponent scoops it up. Oh, my goodness, that game. Wow, that was ridiculous. <laughs> but we got there. We got there. Holy. Oh, this is so close to being good. I think we got a mulligan. Uh, all right. All right. We'll try this. Temple Garden, we will keep on top. Copperline Gorge for our opponent, and Faithless Looting, get the graveyard going. Ugin is a good answer if we can get it down in time. Well, Temple Garden, tapped, pass the turn. Opponent goes dredging, Conflagrate, prized amalgam, oh lord. Blackleaf Cliffs, oh, it's the nuts. It's the nut draw. Cathartic Reunion, two more prized amalgams, more prized amalgams. Oh, and an Arc Amoeba, and that is the game, boys and girls. Uh, sometimes Dredge just, uh, has ten power on turn two. Yeah, there's no way we can win now. Alright. Well, we won a game. That's something. Alright, uh, against the odds time, playing some warped statuary in modern. And, oh my goodness. Oh, we are the rulers of the one land hand. We're on the draw, we're gonna try this. Worst case, we start pathing our th <sighs> three bin inspectors. Oh, uh, alright. 
Draven Inspector, go. Ghost Quarter. So this looks like blue-white control of some kind. Ideally, we just draw land. Hollow Fountain for our opponent. Untap down to 17. And... Oh, God. Well, now if we don't draw land, we're just dead. Oh, boy. Well, there's a tap land. <laughs> so much for our Path of Thraven Inspector plan. Pass the turn. I guess we might be able to do it next turn. Wall of Omens. This might actually be in a Myria deck. Hallowed Fountain. Tapped. Well, let's see what we draw here. Land? It's land. Now, let's just Tireless Tracker and pass the turn. There's an island for our opponent. Path the Tireless Tracker. Well, let's get a mountain. And opponent passes. And upkeep Vendillion click. Ah, uh, that's fine. We don't really care about that. I don't even know if our opponent takes anything here, honestly. Takes nothing. We draw land. So let's one, two. Cogworkers puzzle knot. Play Cinderglade, play Servo Schematic, and pass the turn. Now we just need to find Inspiring Statuary and a Finisher. There's a land for our opponent. Goes to combat. Well, let's path it. If our opponent wants to counter, that's fine. Another Wall of Omens for our opponent. And passes. Servo Schematic. Well, one, two. Crack our clue. There's the Great Aurora. Well, attack with everything. Opponent blocks. One. And then we'll just Servo Schematic. Get another servo, and pass the turn. Ghost quarter number three for our opponent, and passes. We draw a mountain. Well, attack with everything. Opponent blocks. I do not know why they're not blocking with the second titan, or second wall. That's very strange. Sphinx's Revelation, X4. Plays a Jace. Takes up Jace. Spreading seas. Well, let's path a servo. Get a planes. So if we draw a green source, we get to Great Aurora. Fetch land, forest, cinder glade. Now let's pass the turn. Ghost quarters are planes. So we'll float a white mana. Get a planes. Opponent ghost quarters again. So float a white mana. Get a forest. Path a servo. Get a forest. Crack our puzzle knot. Make a servo. There's Supreme Verdict. Takes down Jace. Now let's go Snapcaster versus. Takes the versus. Ooh, Wall of Omens. All right. Well, we get to resolve something by the looks. We draw our Hellkite Igniter. Oh, we got to go for it. So Warp World. This actually isn't hugely beneficial. We each have 10 permanents thanks to uh, how this game is played out. But you never know what we hit. One, two, three, four, five, six. Opponent gets a Snapcaster. We get some Servos. Pass the turn. Opponent paths a Servo. We get a Forest. Opponent goes attacking. Well, we'll kill Snapcaster. There's a Gideon for our opponent. Takes it up. Well, crack one Swept Teeth. Get a Canopy Vista. Crack Wooded Foothills. Get a Stomping Ground. Crack Cogworkers Puzzle Knot. Play Hellkite Igniter. There's a mana leak. Pass the turn. And that does it. Now we probably want paths. I don't even know if we change anything. We just don't really have great changes. Let's just run it back. Well, we have Thraben Inspectors. That's something. Wooded Foothills. Crack Wooded Foothills. Temple Garden. Untapped. And Thraben Inspector. Pass the turn. Planes for our opponent. Well, play the mountain. Get in with Thraben Inspector. Play a servo schematic and pass the turn again. Glacial Fortress for our opponent and passes. Well, attack with both. Play a Thraben Inspector. Play Canopy Vista. Ship the turn. Island for our opponent and passes. Well, get in with everything. Let's crack a clue, see if we can find a land. Sacred Foundry. Well, play our Thraben Inspector. Get a clue. Sacred Foundry tapped. Pass the turn. Opponent just runs out a Snapcaster Mage. Sure. There's a Ghost Quarter. And, uh, okay. This has got to mean our opponent has a Wrath. Or not. Well, let's attack with everything. Crack a clue. Crack a clue. Play Wooded Foothills. Pass the turn. Glacial Fortress for our opponent. Well, let's attack with the crew. Put our opponent to eight. Play Tireless Tracker. There's a counter. Play Cinderglade, pass the turn. Opponent plays land and passes. We get a Cinderglade. 
attack with everything and ship the turn. Well, our opponent's getting to the point where they got to do something or else they're just going to be running out of time. They're down to four life. All right, Kitchen Finks for our opponent, up to six. Well, play Cog Workers, Puzzle Knot. Spell Snare, A. Eh? All right, let's pass the turn. Opponent plays Land. Does the tap untap thing that they're so fond of. Attacks with Kitchen Finks. Interesting option. Plays another Finks. Well, let's path a Kitchen Finks. Opponent has a negate. Well, path Kitchen Finks. Hope we draw a land for the warp world. Opponent goes up to eight. There's a forest. All right, so we get to attack with everything. Play a forest. Crack our wooded foothills. Oh, if our opponent's slow rolling a counter, that's going to be very, very disappointing. Uh, we'll just get a forest, and we're going to go for it. Warp world. Um, Not going to pay two. Opponent gets a million spreading seas. Oh, man. If we had went for it pre-combat, we might have actually got the win there. Good news is, we get some clue tokens. Many, many clue tokens. Uh, yeah. So, I guess, in retrospect, would have been a better to just go for it. Pony gets to draw some cards. We get a almost infinite number of clues. Pony's hand is refilled, although we can refill our hand thanks to the clues. Get some servos, and pass the turn. Opponent pass our charger. We'll get a mountain and another clue. Oh man, they drew into double path. We'll crack wooded foothills, get a cinder glade, get a clue. Crack wooded foothills, get a cinder glade, get a clue. Uh, we will search out another land, a mountain, and pass the turn. Oh, I should have went for the combo kill. Opponent plays a land. Oh my god. Plays a Jace. Well, if we get to resolve a second warp world. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, yeah, this should this should be a good one. I am very excited about this. Ooh, we even get to play Canopy Vista? Well, let's hold Canopy Vista. Actually, that gives us one more shuffle, though. So play Canopy Vista. <laughs> there we go. Warp world. And that was a good one. Not going to pay life, but we are going to get some clues, and we are going to Hellkite our way. There's all our inspiring statuaries. No. Nope. <laughs> yes, this was how we drew it up. This was the plan, and our plan is coming to fruition. We get a huge stack of triggers. Uh, cards go on the bottom, and I think this is going to do it. Uh, I probably could have done it last turn, but when we slide through the counters, this deck does crazy things. Uh, so we'll stack everything. Get a get a few clues, I say. And our bonus scoops it up. Oh, our Hellkite Igniter. We could have double pumped, and we would have gotten two more artifacts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, uh, 13 more artifacts, so this would have been a 3131, I think, or 315. Uh, yeah. Well, it can happen. It's possible. Uh, so of course, we went on to lose the game three of our control match. We got mana screwed, didn't play anything, it was horrible. So, what do we learn this week about Warp Statuary in Modern? And, well, I still think the deck is pretty sweet. Oh, it was rough by the numbers. We played five matches and won a grand total of zero. And of those five matches, we played 13 games and we won three. So match win percentage of zero, game win percentage of 23 point something percent. So it was, it was a rough one. And Modern is just a hard format. I like that this deck took advantage of both aspects of inspiring statuary so i'm i'm still happy with how this turned out as a inspiring statuary deck we did achieve our goal we made both parts of the card relevant needing to have a bunch of artifacts out also using it for mana having non-artifact payoffs so we hit all the things of an inspiring statuary deck but it just wasn't fast enough or consistent enough to really compete with the big decks in modern uh, so part of the problem was 
we just wouldn't always have inspiring statuary and our deck is very reliant on it and then being a three mana artifact there's a ton of ways people have to kill it abrupt decays ancient grudges and the sideboard wear tears so even if we had our nut draw and even worse we often had the the perfect hand turn four karn slash ugin hands and would get thought seized or inquisition so there's just so many things that need to go right and relying on one specific card like inspiring statuary is just a risky technique in a format like modern because without that our deck just doesn't do much we're playing servos and thraben inspectors in a really powerful format when we have inspiring statuary and everything goes well it's super awesome and when we resolved a warp world or the great aurora it was often very good for us and even game winning like everything worked the way we imagined it just wasn't quite as good as it needed to be so it was fun i think this deck is a cool idea but as far as being competitive this is kind of in the lower tiers of against the odds deck so anyway that's been our against the odds for this week thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video and i will talk to you soon